Hi guys. Okay, um, another project. I showed the schematic here um, a video or two back. So now we're going to go over what it is. This thing is not quite ready yet. I've got uh, a little more tinkering to do with it. But what it is, is a, a low power AM transmitter. Tube base. Runs on four tubes. It's got a uh, solid state diode, just single diode for the power supply. It is adjustable. Um, so you can change the frequency or you can just set it to one frequency and leave it. You have a volume control here for your input volume. Uh, I need to cut this off a little bit. Anyway, uh, I thought we'd kind of go over it a little bit real quickly. Uh, first we'll look at the schematic and so that we can talk about it. And let me kind of adjust in on that a little bit and zoom in. Oh, there we go. So basically what we've got <coughs> is we're using a 6BE6 in this particular case, which is just a pentagrid converter tube, standard. Uh, you see a lot of these in like all American, well, not so much all American 5 radios, but the newer radios. Uh, all American 5 would probably be a 12BE6. Uh, and, and you could do that. Uh, I had a transformer, so I opted to go that route. But you could actually series string it and go transformerless if you wanted to. Uh, we have an oscillator coil here, which basically is out of an all American 5. Um, which will work just fine. Uh, and you pick up, you know, you, if you got a junk radio, um, AM radio, basically get the oscillator coil and tuning condenser out of it, and you're good to go. And so we're going to oscillate this tube, and then we're going to have an audio input right here go through a 6AV6 here to amplify it and then feed it into the mixer. So instead of like on a radio front end where you have your um, station that you tuned in send a, a, a frequency in and your local oscillator sending frequency in and then being mixed, in this case we're actually using the mixer tube as a modulating tube. So we'll feed an AM or an audio signal in, which will mix with the local oscillator and signal, and then that'll be fed out. And we're running into a 6AU6 um, output tube and it, uh, sending out to an antenna. Uh, my tinkering needs to be done with this filter here and a little bit of adjustment of this load resistor because it's, it's still running a tad bit low on power. I like to get it up closer about 200 milliwatts. It's running around about 100. So I, I need to crank it up. 200 milliwatt, milliwatts is the max for these that you're allowed, at least in this country. Uh, this little bit of arrangement here, the 6AL5, which you could use a couple signal diodes uh, back to back. This is just a feedback circuit to keep the audio uh, signal coming in here to keep everything linear uh, so that it uh, it keeps this mixer tube in the linear region. Uh, remember that on a mixer tube or converter tube that this uh, grid number three generally is your input grid or signal grid so you want to keep it biased and keep the signal coming to it so it stays in a area uh, in uh, a linear portion, in other words, class A. So that's what this thing does here. It just basically is a feedback. Uh, it's actually quite simple. It just picks off some of the signal, feeds it back to the diodes, and then um, feeds it into, uh, one goes into the cathode, uh, 
uh, into the cathode to adjust it. The other one's going to the diodes to help adjust a little bit of the signal. And it keeps this thing uh, tuned down to a level so it doesn't overmodulate and take this thing out linear. The other thing that was put in was uh, the 1K down here uh, pot. Uh, basically hooked up as a rheostat uh, adjusting the cathode bias on this to keep this thing pretty much in the linear portion basically we're just working with trying to keep the uh, her in the you know uh, biased in the class A so this is just once it's set it's set uh, tried using a fixed resistor in there and it seemed I couldn't find one that was quite the right size so I, I decided to go with one pot Generally, it should be around about 390 ohms, but um, I couldn't seem to be, uh, it seemed to be a little bit higher than that. So, otherwise, uh, that's basically all it does. You bring in the audio signal in here, whatever you're going to be feeding into it. It gets amplified, goes in the mixer. This oscillator is going to be, you know, you got a couple of tunings and then you really want something like an All-American 5 that has a um, tunable and uh, transformer oscillator coil. Uh, it has a slug in it because you can tune it because that gives you two shots of tuning. You got this tuning plus the variable capacitors tuning as well. Adjustment, a little patter on the side of it. So you can get this thing kind of locked in uh, into uh, the AM broadcast band area and anyway we modulate it we're feeding two signals in we end up with a modulation signal feed it out to an output tube you can actually add another tube in here to get more power but remember at least in the US I don't know about other countries but uh, you're limited to, uh, to 200 milliwatts um, so your signal cannot be you know too strong too high wattage so and and that's determined by this resistor and actually looking at this uh, uh, basically this is a high pass filter uh, or low pass filter here LC filter going out to the antenna keeping it under under two megahertz uh, and down and then just feed it out to uh, some form of antenna uh, wire or whatever power supply is pretty simple uh, basically um, got a transformer and one single diode is fine halfway rectified 50, 50 microfarad 3.3k resistor and a 30 microfarad uh, pi filter here running the B++ out to feed the output tube give it maximum voltage and then the rest of the B plus feeds the rest of the the other two tubes B plus to them so, here's our unit. Uh, basically, it's off of a some sort of Heathkit bar generator chassis. I built it off of that. Uh, didn't need a bar generator, and this wasn't all that good of one, and as well as it didn't want to work right. Uh, so anyway, I got my tubes in here. Our tuning condenser, we're only using just one section. I didn't, I didn't have anything that I could um, basically uh, that would fit in here and work and have the right capacitance uh, that would be at least two or less. So our uh, audio comes in here through a plug here, a jack, and we RCA jack feed it in to the volume control and feed it out to the unit. We turn it upside down and uh, this is that bias pot that's a cathode resistor for the 6BE6. Here's our um, oscillator transformer right here. Our 6BE6 which has got a lot going on around it. There's several caps and resistors connections in here. Uh, you may notice a cute eye that I've got this shorted out right here. Uh, I've got one on order. It's supposed to be a 56 picofarad. This is the only one I had out of my junk drawer. 
and it, although I tested it before I put it in, it started acting up and wasn't uh, staying linear, wasn't work, work right, and wasn't wanting to go down low in frequency, it just shut off. So uh, I ended up retesting it again, and I suppose just from moving it around, heating it, and everything, soldering it back in place, it, it became leaky. So I got shorted, which is it works, but it, it's not linear. It's not working quite right. Um, it needs that 56 picofarad, but that was the only one I had. Like I said, I got one on order. Our power supply components are here. We've got the two caps and then the, the resistor and the diode. Uh, this is the 6AL5 here. Again, like I said, you could use a couple. Oh, one in 4148s or something like any uh, high-speed signal diodes uh, if you want to use solid state. And then uh, this is the 6AV, no, this is the 6AV6, and this is 6AU6. So, signal comes in on here, that's our audio amplifier, our feedback circuit feeds into here, we have our local oscillator here, and then that feeds back out to the 6AU6, and feeds out onto um, this wire here, and... That's our makeshift antenna. I had a um, couple, three, or at least three uh, antennas, uh, telescoping antennas, and I can't find them. Um, yeah, it's one of those things when you move, stuff gets boxed up, you never get everything completely unpacked. So the box I thought they should have been in, they weren't, so they're somewhere. Um, I just got to find them. Other than that, we just got, you know, some filters and stuff, but these are not real complicated, and actually, technically, any RF generator really is nothing much more than this, except this has an output tube that is up in the power a little bit out, so that you get a little more signal out to, uh, that way you can actually have it as a transmitter. Um, but an RF generator basically... Uh, if you can, you know, if you took the output of it and actually fed it through a Class A amp, uh, uh, RF amp, and upped its power, you know, you could uh, use one of those, uh, really, technically. So, because uh, uh, really, there's not much else different in here. Uh, a lot of your RF amplifiers actually. Some don't have the ability, but some does have a, a mod in where you can actually just plug in whatever modulation you want into them. And really the the basic front end parts here of this is really just that's all it is, is an RF generator uh, with a, a modulation circuit. So anyway, uh, that's really about all I can say on on-off switch, tuning and stuff. Uh, excuse the knobs is basically what I had. Um, I basically just pull stuff out of chunk cores and, and play with them. Um, so I, I just use whatever I got. Uh, if anybody's interested, I, I, I know I forgot to get that audio um, amp up on on there I will do that today up on my uh, Google Drive um, folder so I've got rewrote up and redrew and got all the changes in it and stuff in fact uh, I just gotta scan it and get it up so this is it right here um, back, 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 back. so it, it's ready to go I just I totally slipped my mind to get it up so I will get that up, but I can go ahead and draw this up a little bit better and uh, put it up. Uh, I believe once I fix that cap, and I might before I do that, I will play with this resistor here and see if I can get a little bit more gumption out of it. I may have to change uh, this filter a little bit, uh, but we'll we'll see uh, and uh, see how well it works. So. I think uh, this is going to be a short video and uh, and stuff. We got uh, 
uh, I started working on the Thurman project. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, it's the musical instrument I talked a long time ago about, uh, about building, where you just basically you do not touch the instrument and you play it. Um, so I, I've got a good start on it, and if it works, we'll have that as a project. Uh, I'll be showing it up in the in upcoming video or two. Uh, and I got thinking, uh, I have built an RF generator, like I said in previous videos, it's on there. I have built a signal tracer, that's uh, in my videos, uh, you know, to show you guys, you know, basically how to do it. We did the audio amplifier, um, and the transmitter here. What in an upcoming project is, I thought might might be of interest to some of you, is an audio generator. Um, do a video on it, you know, to build one, how to build one, and stuff. They're not really complex, and uh, or complicated, so a uh, that might be a nice little treat for you. And I don't know whatever else I can find to uh, do. I've got more radios to restore and a few other projects, so but I thought I'd kind of do some of this stuff, kind of show you uh, the basic ins and outs of uh, building stuff and everything. So, anyway, uh, if you like the video, thumbs up. Um, if you are new to my channel, uh, I do basically restoration of anything tubed, tube equipment, vintage electronics, uh, you know, radios, televisions, um, test equipment. But I also talk about theory, I talk about, and I build projects and talk about building them and experimenting and things of this nature too. So if you like any of that stuff, uh, and you haven't already, please subscribe, and that way you'll know when new videos come out. So, anyway, guys, I want to thanks, thank you for all your comments. Uh, I've just been real busy. I haven't been able to get back to them. I might end up just doing a special video on just like I've done in the past and go over the comments and, and answer them. And uh, so far, there's really not a lot of questions in there. Just more or less, you guys just being kind to me. You're always kind. So I want to thank you for your kind words and your comments and uh, and to my new subscribers. And uh, so I'll see you guys on the next video. Probably in the next video we're going to kind of step back and look at uh, tools again. Uh, I did way long time ago did a basic tool video. I want to go over that and, and do something uh, a little more lengthy. Go over... Uh, other equipment and everything and some tips and and things of this nature as well so anyway thanks again I'll see you guys on the next video oh by the way this is basically part one on this part two will be it operational again see you on the next video thanks for watching